hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nadisha one of the ways that God speaks to me is through songs and the song today is the scientist by Coldplay if you are here this message is about your kingdom spouse kingdom marriages um, yeah so this song had came to me a little while back and um, I didn't get a chance to look up the lyrics or anything like that but it kept coming back and coming back so I was like okay I I know that this was our next song. So yeah, let's get into it. It says, um, come up to meet you, tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. I had to find you, tell you I need you, tell you I set you apart, okay? And, you know, like we've talked about numerous times that your person is going to come find you. Um, that was in one of my recent videos. Your person will come find you. Um, but, yeah, come up to meet you. Tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you, lovely you are. You know, so, yeah, they're going to come find you. And they're going to come with an, a genuine, a genuine, authentic apology. Okay. And um, they're going to express how, how wonderful you are you know they might start complimenting you not flattery but like truly just expressing to you like how much of a good person you are you know how much like the your qualities like unmatched your qualities are unmatched you know and um yeah um it says i had to find you tell you i need you tell you I set you apart you know um yeah so they're gonna like I said they're gonna come find you and express certain feelings towards you okay um tell you I set you apart you know when I read that part I truly believe that like your person despite any other relationship that they may have been in um you were always very different. You know what I mean? Tell you I set you apart. You know, they they always knew that there was something different about you. You know, just like how God set us apart, he favors us, certain people. You know, um, yeah, it's like you, despite what this person has been through they've always kind of set you apart in your mind because there was always something that was really different and real and genuine and and authentic about you um yeah it says tell me your secrets and ask me your questions oh let's go back to the start okay yeah so they want you to be vulnerable with them that's the word they they want you to be vulnerable with them and they want they want they're going to want you guys to be able to communicate with each other and that's really what it, what it, what it is relationship need, there needs to be vulnerability in relationships and there needs to be real communication you know um so yeah you guys are going to be vulnerable with each other which is going to be amazing you know and um it says let's go back to the start <sighs> you know, the word God gave me for this year was starting over. I can't even, I can't, I can't. Starting over. And um, yeah, it's like, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to where we were when God told us uh, about the promise. Let's go back to the start. You know, it's like the prodigal. It's like the prodigal, you know, once he realized, oh my gosh, this life is not for me, he went back to the start. He went back to where he started. Where did he go? Back to his father's house. He went back to the start, okay? So you guys are going to go back to the beginning, you know, and you're going to start over. And just like Jonah, right? When God, you know, Jonah ran or whatever, and the fish swallowed him up, and the fish spat him out, okay? Jonah went back to the start. He went back. And, you know, and the reason why, you know, the, I, I, I believe that the reason why Jonah had to go back to the start is like, it's like God is saying, 
hey, I rescued you. I, re I send that fish to rescue you, okay? Because had it, if the fish didn't rescue Jonah, he would have drowned, okay? So Jonah ran, right? God sent the fish to rescue him. The fish uh, swallowed him up and spat him out, right? Jonah went back to the start. And it's almost like God is saying, hey, if I give you a second chance, if I give you a second chance, bro, if I give you a second chance, are you going to do what I asked you to do? Are you going to do it? So he brought Jonah back to the start. And luckily, Jonah went. He went and did what God asked him to do. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, let's go back to the start. Let's start over. Fresh, 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 fresh. And that's why you guys are going to have a start over. You're going to have a do-over. Okay? Um, it says running in circles, coming up tails, heads on science, heads on a science apart. Nobody said, okay. No, <laughs> heads on a science apart. Um, yes. You know, so running in circles, coming up tails. You know, so basically running in circles, you know, it means like running around and just having very little success, you know, very little success. And, um, you know, coming up tails means that like, you know how when you flip a coin and they're like heads or tails, you know, most people always pick mostly heads, right? You know, and tails kind of like represents bad luck. So not only are they running in circles, um, they feel like they're coming up empty, you know, they're just like... They're having very little success and they're just having a lot of bad luck, you know, in their life right now. Okay. Um, heads on a science apart, you know, it says nobody said it was easy. It's such a shame for us to part. Nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be this hard. Or oh, take me back to the start. <laughs> Listen, you know, it, it says nobody said it was easy. And it's true. It's like <laughs> the song that's coming up right now. It says, it wasn't easy, but it was worth it. I don't remember who sings that. Was it Juanita? I'm not sure. You know, and... um yeah, it says nobody said it was easy, you know. Did God ever say it was easy? You know? It says no, and it says it's, it would be such a shame for us to part. And even though you guys are apart, some of you guys are apart right now, but I think what this, this means is it's such a shame for for it to never happen again. It's such a shame for it to never come to, come back to fruition. You know, it would be a shame to just abandon the whole mission, basically. You know, it would be a shame for us to part. Um, yeah, nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be this hard. And you guys probably have thought about this many, many times where you're know, like, Oh my Lord, how is this a, 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 a relationship from the Lord? How? It, no one said, this is hard. This is harder than the ones I would have chosen, right? <laughs> um, no one said it, like, no one said it was going to be easy. And a lot of you guys cannot believe how hard this this is and it has been. You know, you're like, there's no way that god will allow me to enter into something that is seems so difficult seems so uh time consuming so seems so draining you know yeah <sighs> it says <laughs> um i was just guessing at numbers and figures pulling the puzzles apart Questions of science, science and progress. Do not speak as loud as my heart. I was just guessing at numbers and figures, pulling the puzzle pieces apart, you know. You know, what I got from this is, you know, it's almost like, in the beginning, your person was really trying to figure out how things were going to go. They were really trying to figure out, like, 
they were using a lot of logic you know like maybe if i oh mm, thank you maybe if i took this route this would bring me to a place where i want to be right so they were trying to logically 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 think about how their life was going to be um and how how things they were pulling you know they're pulling the puzzle pieces apart they're guessing at numbers and figures so yeah they're like putting two two and two together and trying to figure out logically how this was going to work out but what they didn't realize is this this assignment this relationship this marriage is all by faith okay it says without um uh without with, without faith it's impossible to please god you know if you don't have faith you're not pleasing god and and this is why this journey uh this this is what this journey is about faith trust faith trust endurance perseverance the works okay and this person was using logic your person was using logic you know maybe if, and you know especially for the people um for the person who went to another situation you know they were really using logic maybe if i go towards this situation this would lead me to a different route this would lead me to a better place in life and blah 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 and god was like oh lord no mm -mm. they needed to have faith because what god does he defies logic so there's logic and god defies logic a lot of times when god tells you to do something it don't make no sense the world isn't doing what god is telling you to do it usually don't make no sense you ask for more money god says to give more <laughs> you ask for a uh, friendship god says be a friend you ask for more time, God says to give your time away. You know, you ask for anything. Anything you ask for, God tells you to do, do the opposite, basically, sometimes. You know what I mean? And so he defies logic. And a lot of times, like I said, God, when he tells us to do something, it no, it like, you're like, what? Did you, did you not hear me? You, like, yeah, so... While your person was using science and numbers and all this, trying to figure how their life was going to be, God was saying, hey, you needed to walk by faith. You needed to just listen to me, trust and believe that this was going to work out and this was going to work out for your good. Okay. And a lot of them did not. Um, so yeah. So now that the logic and all that stuff didn't work, because they're like, no, no. It says, do not speak as loud as my heart. So none of the science is working. None of the logics, none of the things that they created in their head is working because you're like, listen, no, my heart says something different. My emotions is saying something different. So this is, they're going to get to a point where they have to go with the logic or they're going to go with their, mo their emotions. You know, it's like logically this route seems better, but my heart my emotions is telling me to go somewhere else. Um, it says, but tell me you love me. Come back and haunt me. Oh, and I rush to the start. Running in circles, chasing our tails. You know, this person really like, it's almost like based on what their feelings feeling for you like they want to make sure that you love them back you know what i mean it's just come back and haunt me <laughs> this kind of remind me of the song that says um um there's always something there to remind remind me right so you don't have to go haunt them they're being reminded of you um oh and i rush to the start running in circles chasing or tails you know um yeah, basically chasing our tails is, you know, means doing different things but not achieving much, you know, not achieving what you want to achieve. Um, yeah, it says coming back as we are. So I, I truly believe that you guys are going back to the start. You guys are going to go back to the, like the beginning, but you're going to go back older, wiser, more experienced you know, hopefully, you know, more godly, <laughs> you know, more secured in who you are as a person. You're going back to the start with more identity. Because see, this journey wasn't just for a person. This journey was for you as well. You know, you had to learn things. You had to grow. You had to, you had to develop and they had to do as well. So you guys are going to go back to the start whole. Mm. 
I'm going to go back as a whole, two whole people going back to the start, entering into a relationship. And that is what you want. You want two whole people together in a relationship. Not two halves, but two wholes. You know, and that is is what a relationship should be about. That is beautiful. When two people who know who they are, who have their identity in Christ, okay, get into holy matrimony, get into a union, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, where God is the center. That's beautiful. And you're not looking to each other to fill a need, to fill a wound, you know. You're not you're not trying to get this person to help you with your childhood trauma because you would have already have done that. Why why was last year, why was two years ago, why was three years ago, why was five years ago, however long, why was God telling you guys to go back to childhood and work out your trauma? Why would he do that? Because he doesn't want your spouse to fix that. That is your job. That is his job to fix, not your spouse. He wants when you get into a marriage, it's going to be healthy, not toxic. Now you fix me and I have these, I have these issues. No, fix yourself. The, your, your singleness was the time to, to fix and heal those wounds. Listen, man. Because y'all have done the work. Oh, my gosh. I just... Beautiful. Your marriage is going to look beautiful. When you've done the work and they've done the work. Think about two healthy people who have done the work on themselves into a marriage. Have you seen that before? That's beautiful. Okay? And that is what you want. All right, let me stop rambling. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.